I'm going to show you some ways of which I add a little spice um, that some people might call outside playing, ad adding in some chromaticism uh, or some different, I don't know, exotic tones into like a, just a dominant seventh kind of landscape. So if I'm in the key of A here and I'm just thinking of like A dominant. Um, first of all, just adding in chromaticism is just the idea of, you know, you got your blues. <laughs> Right, your blues scale. But all of those notes in the cracks, I can add in. All those notes are fair game. But what you do with them um, can be interesting. Like if I just, instead of like, Just the idea of adding in, you know, little um, chromaticisms like. All right. So I'm, when I'm playing that stuff, I'm not really even thinking about what scale it is. I just kind of feel it out. Now, sometimes what I might do is start a half step below my, my key center. So I'm an A. I might start in um, A flat or G sharp, depending on how I want it. So there, I'm just kind of doing like a, a minor pentatonic, a half step down. Up to A. Or I can do like a A flat Dorian. Or I can go a half step up. So there, I went up a half step. Half step up, back to A, A flat, back, back to A again. Sorry. So that's just kind of cool. And then I can take uh, any of those ideas, half step, uh, I can do half step, whole step. So I can think like A flat, A, B, C. So again, A flat, A, B, C, back to A. Okay, so that's kind of fun. Uh, another thing I might do just to add a little tension is I might do a little... I do this quite a bit because I think it sounds cool. Um, I start a half step down from my tonic. So I'm going to be an A flat. So I'm playing over an A. And I'll just do like a um, diminished arpeggio. Um. think in terms of doing a um, an altered down so I'm thinking of playing over this E chord uh, and I'm actually thinking about thinking of playing over this chord so a B flat dominant 7 with a sharp 11 and I'm doing basically a B um, uh, what do we call it? A uh, mixolydian flat five. Uh, I don't, you can call it anything you want, but it's uh, basically it's a mixolydian with a flat five. <laughs> thinking of that as a B flat, but I'm actually thinking of it as playing over the five chord in A, which sounds confusing, but it sounds like this. <laughs> Just 
just adding a little spice, like a 5-1 cadence real quick over, over the dominant, just the static, the, the static uh, dominant seventh. That makes sense? So I'll do that. Uh, but yeah, those are some good ideas. And then just, I, I do a lot of um, pentatonic substitution, kind of the standard ones. If I'm an A, I can think of doing a C minor pentatonic over an A's. Kind of cool. I can think of doing a B minor pentatonic over an A. I can think of doing an E minor pentatonic. Just those things are kind of fun. Um, also, just doing a blue scale uh, with only the flat five and not the fifth. So you get this. So over the A7, I can think of that being a C sharp minor, uh, it's like a, um, like a half diminished type of a arpeggio scale. Anyways, those are some ideas for making your uh, dominant seventh a little bit more exotic. Can you dig it? Okay, using open strings when uh, playing in this kind of chicken picking technique or this kind of country-esque approach. Um, basically, any open string is an option. And sometimes when you're in keys like G and A and E, uh, most of the open strings are going to be cooperative with the tonality you're in. But sometimes you're in keys where they aren't, and that's even better because then they sound a little bit more out. Um, but basically, I mean, you can do any kind of variations of various different things. Like if I'm in the key of G, for one thing, you can do some double stop things in G that are pretty cool. Like if I hit um, the, the kind of a string skipping thing, where if I have my pick on the G string, my middle finger is on the high E string. Now there I'm going um, G string and high E string. And then it's D string and B string. But then I go to open B string and G. So there I'm going um, B string and D string. And then A string, uh, pick on A string, open G string with my middle finger on my right. And then low E string and open D string. Now all of these, you know, you hear people going. Key of G. Kind of, kind of stagger things a little bit. And again, it's the idea of you're popping the higher string with your finger and playing the adjacent lower string with the pick. When you're in the key of C, things get a little weird. That B sound. So I just kind of throw them in at will. And a lot of times, as I said, the open string might be a little outside of the tonality of, the, of, uh, of where you're at, but that sounds cool as a weird passing tone. Um, so basically, you could find yourself in any, there's a, the, Albert Lee would do this thing in the key of A, uh, it's a Chet Atkins thing. And 
again, the pick is on the lower string, so it's on the D string. And I'm using my middle finger on my right hand to pop the G string. And I'm pulling that off. That's all the piece. Pick is still on the D string, but now I'm going to the B. You can do the idea of six, that's very... There I'm pulling off the high string. You can do the same thing on the D string and B string, pull off the B string, it's still in the key of A. Then go to the A string and G string. That's E string and D string. of using open strings with your chicken pickin' fricassee. <laughs>